Hi, my name is Ricky Shannon, Application Engineer in Trimax 3D Printing Team, and today I want to show you how to insert heat set inserts into plastic FDM parts. Before we get started showing you how to install a heat set insert into an FDM part, I want to go through a few things that you're going to need. First, you're going to need your heat inset. In this case, we have an M8 heat insert. You will need a soldering iron. You can use a standard soldering iron like this. They also make specific heat staking um, soldering irons designed specifically for this with tips designed for the specific uh, inner diameter of various um, heat inserts. Today, though, we'll just use a standard soldering iron. And you will need your part that you plan on putting the heat insert in. This is a, uh, an ABS kind of uh, prototype for a fixture that I'm designed to print in nylon 12 CF. We'll have a follow-up blog and some videos on this fixture and what it's used for a little later on. But for right now, I want to make sure that the fit is right and that it'll clamp onto the component. I've got a mock-up component. This will be a stainless steel part uh, that will eventually be milled on here. But I want to go ahead and make sure that my hardware selection is right on this prototype. So I want to put in some heat inserts. So I've already done one here. We can see what we end up with. We end up with a heat insert that's uh, seated flush with the, with the part and that will have really good resistance to pull out. So the first thing we need to do is we need to heat the insert. To do this, we'll note that there's a inner and outer surface on it. The widest surface is what will be sticking outside of the part and the narrower sizes and barbs are what are going inside of the part. So you will simply want to drop this onto the soldering iron tip with the outer surface down and then we're going to want to hold it for about 10 seconds. At this point it is heated up and what we can do is we want to align it with the hole and we're simply going to press it in and we'll see that it just starts to sink into the part. We want to resist the urge to rock it back and forth because we don't want to wobble out and enlarge that hole. And this looks pretty good. One thing you might notice on larger diameters is we do this, we'll end up with a little bit of plastic that kind of gets pushed out inside and can block the threads. Helps to have a little dental pick with you. And we can go ahead and just kind of push out this little extra plastic down out of there. The important thing now though is to let the part cool for about three minutes. We don't want to go ahead and install our, our hardware into the insert otherwise we'll just end up spinning this because that brass insert is retaining a lot of heat and is going to keep this plastic very uh, soft for a few minutes. So we'll give it a few minutes and then we'll assemble it. So this part now should be good to go. I can feel them. The inserts are nice and cool. I can now fit up my hardware and make sure that everything works as planned. And there we have it. I call that successful. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please reach out to TriMet. Thank you very much. Have a good day.